Hello and welcome to this preview of some of the new features in the Practice Better Programs Update. I'm Shelly, Business Success Coach with Practice Better. We're so excited to show you some of the new features that are going to help you wow your clients even more. Um, I want to focus on some of the big updates for this preview and I won't get into every detail today, but Coming soon, stay tuned for a more in-depth look at the amazing new updates where you can ask questions, um, as well as you'll find detailed instructions in our Practice Better Help Center. All right, so let's dive in. Let's take a look at the new program updates. So for those of you on the pro plan or higher, you will have access to programs and courses. Um, you have the fixed date program option with the pro plan or higher, and then you have the evergreen and the new self-paced programs with plus plan or higher. So let's go into this um, is a new program, Better Health, Better Life. This is a demo program. So it's not, these are all demo clients um, and, and test information, just so I can show you what the new uh, features look like. Um, so right off the bat, you're going to see something that you guys, that a lot of you have been wanting where we have sections and sub modules. And we're going to take a look at that in a few minutes. Um, so I wanted to show you here. So the image here, that did not go away. Um, but when you're working on a program, you can just click this little button if you want to give yourself some more room so you don't have to scroll as much if it's a longer program. Um, over here is your left side menu to make it really easy when you're in creating a program or modifying it, you can easily get over to manage your enrollments, look at the group chats, send broadcasts. So, you don't have to go up here for your group chat. You still have this for your individual chats, but and you can also have group chats, you know, that aren't associated with a program. But if it's associated in a program, you'll have the chat right here on the left side. So you'll see that in my Better Health, Better Life program, my participants are already leveraging the chat and posting photos and commenting and um, you know just the whole community experience right here in Practice Better. It makes it all super convenient for your clients. Um, so you'll notice, okay, so we have this new interface. Um, and then we also have this program is actually a self paced. So it's different from the evergreen or the fixed date in that you can set this up so that um, each you can release or open a module based on when they've completed a module. So they can complete one or more modules to open up the next module. And you can actually like visually look at that here. Um, so if I click on this module, so down here for this nutrition summary and knowledge check, they would have had to complete this module. Um, if I click on this one, they need to complete this module before they can go to this one. So you may end up having where they need to complete, you know, three or four modules to get to another module. So you'd be able to see kind of the flow and the journey that your clients are going to be going on if you want to make any changes to that, you can do that. But this just gives you a nice visual to see how um, participants are going to flow through your self-paced program. Um, all right. So another new feature. So if we go over here and we go to edit, um, another feature. Well, since we're here, let's just take a look at um, the self-paced. So you'll notice that this looks fairly similar to the way it did before. But now with this program type, um, self-paced, you can select which module or modules you want your clients to complete before they can move on to the next module. So for this protein module, I want them to complete this fruits and veggies module. And then I'm going to say, um, I want, for this one, I'm going to say all selected, even though it's only one. But if you have, if they were further along in the program and you wanted them to complete at least one, so if you had say three modules checked and you just wanted them to have completed one, you can click on at least one selected module is completed. So I'm just going to leave this here. <clears throat> and then if we go into the content, again, this is very similar to how it was where you can add placeholders and images and video. But I just wanted to show you another new feature of adding an audio file. So before you would have uploaded that and it would have been at the bottom as an attachment. But now you can actually embed it into the content, very similar to how you would embed a video. Um, so they can open their content and they can see that they have an audio file. So maybe, you know, you want them to be able to listen to this while they're on the go and not be worried about watching a video. 
So you can add these audio files. Um, so let's save this and let's go back here. And then we have the enrollment. So this is gonna show you the participants that are enrolled in your program. Um, you can do things. I won't get into all the details here, but I could add tags if I wanted to um, add a tag for this program. I could add that here. So now they'll be, if I go to my all clients, they will have a tag indicating that they're in this program. Um, and I can come over here and view like the individual process or progress of the client. So I can see not only which modules they've completed, but which resources in those modules. So forms, tasks, um, quizzes, and just see which ones are pending and which ones they've completed. And then I could unlock other modules for them if I wanted to, or I could unlock all the modules um, for whatever reason, if they were leaving on vacation and they said, hey, I just, I wanna you know, get through this faster. If this was a, say this was an evergreen program and these were gonna un unlock each day, um, some people, you know, you may, some situations you, you may wanna unlock all the modules so they can get through them a little bit faster. All right, so let's go back here. And then the other option is you can, um, now we have a new thing. So before you could unregister clients, but now you can actually archive clients. So archive clients, they will lose access to the program modules in the chat and they'll also be removed from any upcoming group sessions, but their enrollment progress, their previously released forms, tasks, and protocols, they're all gonna be, that. all that information is gonna be available in the client record. So if you archive them, but if you unregister them, then you can choose to delete previously released forms, tasks, and protocols. So now you have the option to unregister or you can archive. If you wanted to say archive everybody in this program, you could do that. Or if you wanted to come over here, you could archive or unregister clients individually just by clicking on those three dots. All right, so we did talk about the, let's see, self-paced. Oh, I wanted to show you um, in the modules how the updates to the email only module. So if you click on the red button here and you say add module, um, I'm just gonna say create new module, but now you have the option to do, a, instead of going into a content module and creating the email only from there, now you can just go directly to an email only module. So. This is um, a module where when the client gets the email, they don't need to log into Practice Better. They won't have the view module button, so they'll just get it as an email. So here you have the ability to um, put a description in here. You can, again, this is self-paced, so I could say that you know they have to complete the stretching module, and then they will get this when that module is completed, um, but you don't have to set that or I mean, you do have to set it, but if if you wanna put this at the end, you could just click the one before and then say all selected modules. But if this was a fixed date or an evergreen program, you wouldn't be completing which modules that they have to complete to get the email. Um, so here you'll have the email subject and then you'll have the email title and then you'll put in, this is the content that they're gonna get in the email. You do have the placeholders. Um, so it's just a little easier to send the email only modules the way it's set up now. All right, so we have two more things that I wanna show you. So the quizzes, so where would you find the quizzes? Um, see, I did add a quiz to, I think it was this one. So this is where you're gonna add, okay, so I didn't add one, but you would just click on add quiz to complete and then you would select the quiz. But, and then you can also choose this quiz must be completed in order to complete the module. So that's optional. Um, if you wanna check that. But where do you find the quizzes? Where do you build the quizzes? So they're not um, in the form section. So where they are is if we go out to your programs and courses page, you'll see quizzes right here. And let's just take a look at a quiz. So if I go to edit, um, you'll see that it looks very similar to forms. You have your text field, you have yes, no, check boxes, multiple choice. The difference is that these are going, if we go into one of these, the difference here is that you're gonna have the ability to um, say what the correct answer or answers are. So you can see here lentils, which food is considered a legume. Um, if they click lentils, it says correct. It's gonna give them an, like this is optional, but if you want to explain why that's the correct answer, 
Um, so in the, when the clients are complete completing the quiz, they're going to have access to the results, um, which ones they got correct, what the answers are, if you have that in here. So that is another feature that we've heard you guys want, and we're really excited about quizzes. Um, so this one actually is multi-select. So which of the following are considered vegetables? Um, so here you would select Brussels sprouts and carrots. So those are the correct answer. And then you could put an explanation down here as well. Um, all right, so let's save this. Okay, so those are quizzes. And lastly, I wanna go over one of the most exciting features here. So let's go back into this program. Um, over here to the left, we have the analysis. So we have some different reports here, the enrollment summary, module enrollment, module resources and chat engagement. So with the enrollment summary, this is really looking at your client progress, how many modules have they completed, um, now, you're not going to see here with days to complete because this is a self-paced program, but um, with the other program types, you would see how many days they have left until they would complete the program based on the duration of the program, um, how many messages have they posted, the average progress. Um, any of these reports you can download. So if you want to export, you know, you may have a lot more. These are just test clients, but you may have a lot more participants and you may wanna slice and dice even more in Excel or another file type. Um, so that is the enrollment summary. Then we have the module enrollment summary. So these are all the modules. And if I open this up, I can see within the module where my participants, like how many did they complete the form? So these are the resources that go along with that module. And so you can kind of see where people are, what people are completing and what they're not. Um, and again, this is just really helpful to, to analyze or look at what you're adding in your programs. Like if nobody's filling out a certain form, then you have to look at, is this form too long? Is it too complicated? Um, you know, what's really resonating with your community and, you know, what's helping them to progress through your program. So now the module resource summary, this is looking at the resources that you've added to your module. So for fruits and veggies, we have the weekly food log. And the, um, so this is a form and this is a protocol. So three out of the four clients have completed both of these. So again, it's just telling you what are people actually in, you know, engaging with, completing. Um, if we look at this one, we have a task. So this would be really good um, if, you have a lot of people that aren't completing their tasks, you know, then you may want to reach out to them and find out, like, is the task just too complicated, too long? So it just helps you to make improvements and sort of tweak your program as you're relaunching it or continuing to run it just to get more engagement, um, get more transformation from the clients that are in the program. So the last one, chat engagement, this is where you can take a look at the um, engagement in your group chat. So we can say there's, see there's five participants, including me, um, six posts, five client posts, two days with engagement because we just started. So we can look at here the top posts by comments so that we have three posts here, engagement by weekday. So Friday has been the most engaged day and then by hour, um, so again, this can be helpful if you, you know, if you're doing like daily posts, what time of the day are most of the people going to see it or weekly post, what's the best day to post information so that everybody sees it. So here you can break down the participants, how many total posts, how many reactions. So if you're running, say a challenge and maybe um, there's prizes involved, like maybe there are um, participants are getting points for Act, you know, being engaged. And here's where you could track, like, my client Kim has three posts so far. Um, so it could be based on post or reactions or whatever. But this is a way you can really analyze how your chats are doing. So as you're building your community, if you're bringing more of your communities over to practice better and maybe off of other platforms, you'll have the tools here to see how they're performing and how well the community is doing. Um, so in our future, um, in a future deeper overviews of these of the new program update, you will see 
what it looks like on the client portal. Um, we won't get into that today, but that looks very nice. And there are some differences and improvements over on the client portal. So you will be seeing that very soon. Um, so this wraps up our preview of the new Practice Better Programs feature. Thank you for taking the time to watch. We hope you're excited and we definitely look forward to your feedback. Thank you.